What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech. I'm going to show you how to install a car stereo that has a built-in GPS system, built-in DVD player, built-in DTV. Yes, you can watch TV on this monitor. And it has touchscreen, AM, FM, and it plays, of course, CDs, and it has, uh, you can connect it to your subwoofer. It's a pretty amazing uh, stereo. It has a seven inch touchscreen monitor and I'm gonna install it in my Mustang. Check out the link in the video description below for more information. They're celebrating their huge 10th anniversary sale. I'll leave a link in the video description below so you can check out all their great deals. And let's check it out. So the two things that you're gonna need is you're gonna need your wire harness. Pretty much pick this up uh, anywhere. You can pick it up at Walmart locally. And I connected these connectors right here. You can use wire nuts, which are not really recommended. I'm using these crimp, crimp on connectors right here, and they work really good for me because then I can unplug my radio and plug it back in real quick. And I connect the female part on this end so I don't short anything out. They're insulated on the outside. See that? This comes with a wire harness, and they just crimp onto your wires. Now, if you don't know how to remove your car stereo and you don't know how to um, install these crimp connectors, that's my other video I did last week. You're gonna need this mounting kit right here. This is a double din mounting kit. And it attaches these two screws right here, attached to it. There you see. So this is all universal. Most car stereos are wired the same. So step one is plug in your wire harness and the battery, the negative on the battery terminal under my hood is disconnected so I'm not gonna short anything out. So let's go ahead and first connect the ground. Now the ground is the black wire, just like that, black to black. Battery wire, which is the yellow wire, and it goes to the battery. Next is the red wire, which is the controlled by the key, your car key. When you turn on your car, it'll turn on the radio. And let's go ahead and plug that in right here. And this is going to my amp. So let's go ahead and plug in my amp. And this is the audio going to my amp. Got it on a Y adapter. So this is actually the two cables coming from my amp. I'm gonna connect the red to red and the white to white and connect this single RCA right here to the green port. It says it's actually marked SW. Let's plug that in. Everything's labeled, by the way, which is awesome. TV antenna plugs into right here, which I got an RF adapter. You had to buy this separately. It's only um, $3. So let's go ahead and plug that in. Now it's ready to um, connect to an off antenna. Here's my off antenna right here. I'm gonna put this somewhere where I could get a signal, probably under my dash. Hopefully I'll get at least three or four channels. Uh, I'll be happy with that. Now this blue wire right here is for the power antenna. Now, if you connect your amplifier to the wrong blue wire, that means uh, your subwoofer will only work in FM and AM mode. So make sure you connect it to the right blue wire on the car wire harness. You don't wanna connect your amp wire to this wire harness. You wanna connect it to the radio wire harness. So sometimes the blue and white wire will be the amp wire, or sometimes it'll be the solid blue wire, it'll be the amp wire. This one's actually labeled amplifier control, and it's solid blue. But coming from the amplifier, it's blue and white. Solid white wire is gonna be the front left positive speaker, and the white wire with the stripe is going to be the front left negative. So any wire with the stripe is going to be your negative on your speaker, and any solid color is gonna be your positive speaker wire. And then let's connect the front right positive. The solid gray is the front right positive speaker wire. The gray with the stripe is the front right negative speaker wire. Green wire, the solid green is gonna be your rear left positive. And then the green with the stripe is gonna be your rear left negative speaker wire. The solid purple is gonna be your rear right positive. And the purple with the stripe is rear right negative speaker wire. 
Next, we're going to be connecting the antenna. Now, a lot of installers will put this GPS antenna under the dashboard on a metal bar. And you want to connect it. It's magnetic, by the way. Um, you want to connect it to something metal because it's going to increase your signal quality. Now, I don't like it. I don't like connecting it outside my car because sometimes the water will seep into this hole right here and the GPS antenna won't last as long. And we're gonna mount it right on that metal bar all the way back there. And it should be out of the way of the radio so I can install the radio. And I should have good enough signal so I can use the GPS. Let's go ahead and stick it on that metal bar. All right, there's my GPS antenna. We're gonna check it out and see if I get actually a signal. Connect my GPS. And now I'm going to connect my FM antenna that plugs in right here. Next, I'm going to connect my PlayStation 2 into the video input. Red goes to red, white goes to white, yellow goes to yellow. And now I just got to plug in my off the antenna right here. And I'm going to mount this under here. And uh, let's go ahead and plug that in. And let's go ahead and test it. Make sure I got GPS signal and everything else. Uh, All right, it's turning on, looks like. So far, so good. Let's take this tape off. Looks pretty freaking cool looking. My subwoofer's working. You don't know how hard it is. So the DVD's working good. Let's hit eject. Let me try to connect right now. Hold down the Bluetooth on my phone. See if I can scan it. And here it is. Car kit. And uh, I don't know the password is. Maybe it's zero, 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 zero. There it is. It connected. There's my Samsung Galaxy. Let's see if it could play my music. Uh, let's go ahead and hit play. And play my playlist. Wow, it works. And I gotta adjust the volume on my phone. And I got pause and play right here. Wow, that's awesome. Let's do a phone call and hit sync. It's loading a phone book, looks like. I have to allow it. Click on allow. Hey. Cool. Hey, how do I sound? You sound good, man. All right, so let's go ahead and click on the center button right here. And let's connect, uh, let's see, TV. So it looks like it's picking up looking for analog channels and not digital channels. So we're gonna have to use the digital converter box and I'm gonna make a separate video how to connect this box to this monitor and get free TV in your car. All right, let's do another test run. Here we go. And we can change the clock right here I programmed that you can change the background which is pretty cool here's my eject button right here the volume controls the settings all right here I can hit now the arrow that's the EQ that's the boost sound uh, loudness here's your custom equalizer and your sound field front left front right back right back left pretty cool and hit next there's my brightness settings and back camera if I and I don't have a con connected right now that's why it says no signal and here's my FM mode next front left front right back right back left all the speakers are working excellent presets if I want to save that preset I just go to this button click on that button right there and then I just hold no number two slot the home button 
There's my DVD CD mode right there. There's my uh, Bluetooth mode. Then when you click on the center button right here, it pulls up all the apps. There's my SD card, my USB, my DVD CD mode, radio FM AM mode, Bluetooth mode. I don't know why I did that. Uh, TV mode, uh, GPS, and setup. And there's AVN, which is my PlayStation mode. Let's click on setup, my call, my Bluetooth call functions. I have it set to auto, um, auto link is on. There's my time, I set my, uh, my time, my clock. And let's check out the GPS. So here is my current map right here. It turns black at night and green during the day. Um, if I wanna create a route, I click on this right here. And I can create or cancel a route. As you can see right here, I have three bars, which is full signal. Go, click on the settings, uh, sound and warnings. I have my voice on English. Volume is up. Advanced settings. I have um, announced distant next maneuver. Let's go ahead and do a speed warnings. That's actually that's pretty cool. Speed limit always visible. Click on that and warning when my speed limit is 110% of the speed limit. I can change that. I'm gonna 110% is good. And it'll alert me if I'm speeding, which is cool. Turn left at the roundabout taking the third exit. So if you guys are interested in this car stereo, I'll leave a link in the video description below. And if you guys are interested in that 10th anniversary sale, blowout sale that banggood.com is having, I'll leave that link in the video description below as well. And if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And you want more how-to videos coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech. Just click on that subscribe button and click on the share button below. If you know anyone that has a broken car stereo that may need another car stereo, this might be a good option for them.